Hi everybody, in this video we're going to look at how to use Blender to make a spaceship. So this is quite a simple shape to make if you're a beginner with Blender. When we start Blender we have a cube um, and you need to select the cube. You can tell it's selected because of the orange outline. So if it's not selected, click on the cube so that it turns orange and then press the X key to delete it and choose delete. Now we're going to create a spaceship and the spaceship is going to be based upon a circular outline. So first of all, I'm going to go to the add menu, choose mesh and then choose circle. Now I'm going to go into edit mode because I want to convert this circle object into a more complicated shape. So I need to edit the object itself. Now you can change from object mode to edit mode by going to the menu and then selecting the new mode. But a much quicker way is just to press the tab key. So I'm pressing the tab key and I go into edit mode and as well as it changing the name in the uh, selector up here, we can also see it's in edit mode because it highlights all of the dots on the circle. Each of these dots is actually a point that I can click on and I can move it around. Now, I don't want to actually move this point, so I'm going to press the right mouse button to cancel and go back to where it was. Now I'm going to press the A key to select all of the points. Now, to make the side of my rocket, I'm going to press the E key and lift up the mouse. And you'll see that when I lift up the mouse, I'm able to create um, a cylinder shape. Now, it's wobbling about a bit. So to prevent the cylinder from wobbling, I'm going to press the Z key. And that keeps the sides of the cylinder straight. So I'll move this cylinder up a little bit and then click when I'm happy about the position. Now I'm going to press the S key and just scale it out a little bit because I want the side of my rocket to have some gradient. Now I'm going to press the E key again and lift up the next part of my circle and I'm going to use the Z key again just to keep that circle straight as I move it up. And then I'm going to click. Now I'm going to do the same pattern again, so I'm going to press E. I'm going to lift the circle up. I'll use Z to keep it straight. And I'm going to press S and just scale down the size of that circle. Then I'm going to do the same thing again. So I press E and Z to keep it straight. Lift up the circle. Click, press S, maybe scale in the circle a little bit. And then one more. I'm going to press E, press Z to keep it straight, lift up that circle. This is going to be a point on the very end of the rocket. There we go. So this is the outline of my space rocket. OK, now I've created that object. Um, so I'm going to come out of edit mode and go back to object mode. Now what I want to do is add some fins on the side of my rocket. So to add the fins on the side, I'm going to use a different object. I'm going to go to Add, Mesh, and then I'm going to choose the, uh, the cone. So I click and I get a new cone here. Now I'm going to move that cone over a little bit so that I can work on it in a separate space. Now if I look at this cone, um, I want to make it much thinner. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press S and then I'm going to squash it along one of the axes. Now, in this case, because I've got a red line going from left to right in the background, I'm going to press X to squash on the X axis. But if you had a green line, that's the Y axis. So we press Y. And if you had a blue line, that's the Z axis. So we press Z. So I press S and then X, and then when I move the mouse, I'm squashing that cone to make it thinner. This is going to be a fin shape, which will go on the side of my rocket. Now, once I've squashed down the cone quite a bit, I also want to change the shape a little bit. So I'm going to go back into edit mode. Remember, I can press tab to do this quickly. 
it with my fin. Then I'm going to press the G key. And because I want to move it along the green line, I'm going to press Y to keep it lined up with the Y axis. Now I can move that point down until it's angled like that. That's going to be the fin which will go on the side of my rocket. Okay, now I'm going to go back to object mode and I actually need to rotate this fin. I need to rotate it 90 degrees on the X axis. So I'll press R and then press X to keep it uh, locked to the X axis. Then I'll type 90 to rotate 90 degrees and press enter. So that has now rotated the fin around. And if I press G and Y to keep it lined up with the Y axis, I should be able to move that fin over to where I want it. And I think I want it about there. Now, the other thing is that the fin isn't lined up with the Y axis. So I want to make sure that this fin goes in the middle of the rocket. So I'm going to press G and X and move it along the X axis until it's lined up neatly with the Y axis. Now, it might help to look from the top when you're doing this. So I'm going to click on Z so that I get a top down view. And now I can line it up properly and just make sure that that fin is in the right place. That looks better. So obviously there's a little bit of fiddling about with it by hand, just getting it in the exact place that you want it. I think that's about right. Okay, now I've made one fin. Now I'm going to go to a top down view. So I'm clicking on the Z, the blue circle, so that I'm getting a complete top down view. And now I'm going to duplicate this fin four times. So to duplicate, I hold down the shift key and press D. Now I can click the mouse button. That's created a second fin. Now what I'm going to do is rotate it. So I'll press R and 90 to rotate 90 degrees and press enter. Now that worked for me because I'm looking directly from the top down. But if you're not looking from the top down, when you press rotate, you'll also need to press Z to make sure that you rotate around the Z axis. Now I can press G to move that fin and I'm just going to stick it onto the side of the rocket. Now I'm going to repeat the process. So I'll press uh, shift and D and then click to make a copy of that fin. Then I'll press R and type 90. And remember, if you're not looking from above, you might want to press Z as well to keep it lined up. Oh, when I press Z, it actually rotated around the wrong axis. So I'll press R and then um, Z and 90. I actually need to type not minus 90 to get the angle that I want. And there we go. So then um, I'll press G and move it over, stick it in the place that I want. There we go. That's OK. And then I've got one more to do. So I'm going to press Shift and D again to duplicate it. Then I'm going to press R and 90 again to rotate it. And then I'm going to press G and move it into the position that I want. OK. Now when we zoom out, we've got our rocket ship with uh, fins on the side. Now, the next step is I want to add a little bit of color. So the first thing is that if we want to add color, we actually need to create a material. So scroll down until you find this ball with a sort of checkered pattern on it and click on that. And this is where we can create a new material. So I'm going to click new. Takes a little while. Wow, it really does take a little while. Hopefully it's going to wake up. There we go. Um, so it's given me a new material here, and this is the material used for the fin. Now I'm just going to look at changing the basic color of the material. So I'll click here on where it says base color. And I'm going to pick a red color for this fin. 
Now the fin is red now, but I can't actually see it in this view because this is just a black and white view. So I go to the top right and I click on this circle icon, which also has a bit of a checkered pattern. When I click on the checker pattern, now I can see the red color of that fin. Okay, now um, I can actually copy the material um, to the other fins, but let's just do it um, by hand. So I'm going to click on new again, and then I'm going to click on color, and I'm going to select a red color. Here as well, new color and red color here again new click on the color and choose the red color so now I've got these red fins on the side of my rocket now I want to add a little bit of color to the rocket itself I'm going to need to go into edit mode and I'm going to create some new materials um, now in this case, I want to color some parts of the rocket one color and other parts another color. So I'm going to have two materials and I'm going to give each material a name. So let's call this material white and this material gray. And then obviously the white material, I'm going to make it a really bright white. I'm going to turn that right up to the maximum, make it as bright white as possible. And then for gray, I'm going to make it a bit darker, a sort of medium gray shape, uh, medium gray color. There we go. Okay, now I want to select some parts of the rocket and make it white, some parts and make it gray. So what I'm going to do is hold down. Oh, sorry. First of all, I need to choose face select. Now face select allows me to select a whole face instead of just one point, And it's up here in the top left. So at the moment, we're on vertex select, which just selects a single point. If I click on a point, it selects that dot. But if I click on face select, now I can select a whole face. That means one square on the side of my model. Now, I actually want to select a ring all the way around the model. So what I can do is hold down the alt and the shift key. And then when I click on a face, it selects a ring all the way around the model. Now I want to make that ring white, so I choose the white color and click Assign. Now I'm going to do the same thing with the bottom of the, um, of the spaceship. So I'm going to hold down Alt and Shift and then click and get a ring all the way around the bottom. But this time I'm going to choose the gray color and click Assign. Now if I go to the top, um, let's uh, hold down Alt and Shift, click, and I think I'll make that white again. I don't know if this is going to look good, but we'll give it a try. Um, now, maybe I'll have one more color. Uh, let's have a blue color. So I'll come down here and choose blue for this. Sky blue, something like that. Um, and then using the same keys as before, so hold down Alt and Shift and click. And then I'm going to choose the blue and assign it. And then the same on the very top, the needle point of the ship. Click blue, click assign. Okay, now I can come out of object mode. And there's my spaceship. Now... There's loads of ways you can make this model better. It's not an amazing model, but um, at least we've got our basic um, spaceship shape. Um, those of you who know how to add a picture onto the side, uh, maybe you could put like a, I don't know, a NASA logo down the side. Um, or maybe um, you could... Um, I don't know, you might even be able to add some fire coming out of the back of the spaceship or something like this. There is actually a hole in the bottom of our spaceship. Uh, it's not too difficult to fill that in if you want. What you need to do is select the spaceship and then go to edit mode and then choose line select, which is, uh, sorry, edge select, which is the middle type of selection. That allows you to select individual lines. 
Now just like before I hold down Alt and Shift and click and it selects the circle around the bottom then just press F and it will fill in that circle at the bottom. Now I could give that even a red colour and at least it will look hot I guess, a bit hot. There we go. That doesn't look especially hot, does it? It's actually quite a dark red. Um, I think the reason it seems dark is because the light's not shining on it. So um, if I want to make it brighter, I could add a light. Let's just grab a light. Um, let's see, here we are. Um, and I'll take a point light and then move that down a little bit. Now, I'm not sure how good that's going to look probably not very good but we're <laughs> there we are it it doesn't look too bad actually it actually um well it doesn't look good from that angle but from um from some angles it looks it looks very slightly fiery um but in order to create a more accurate fire effect um, we'll need to have a look at particle effects and that's definitely a later lesson um, now, another thing is that you might notice the spaceship has um, a bit of a rough surface appearance. That's because it's made up of all of these rectangles. Now, if you don't like that and you want to make it smooth, you can do. Just click on your shape um, and then go to... Um, oh, now oh, it's under object, shade smooth. There we go. And then that's going to smooth out your... Um, rocket's appearance. Now I actually quite like it when it's rough but um, it's up to you which uh, which type you prefer. Okay so guys please experiment there's loads of things that you can do to make this uh, look a bit more detailed. Um, another thing I might try doing is adding in a band around the center of the rocket so I'm gonna grab that line and then I'm just gonna add in um, an extra an extra point. I'm kind of fiddling now, but let's add in an extra point here, and then I'm going to color that line in. Um, color it in black, I think. Oh. Okay, there we go. And then let's add a black color. And then assign that black color. There we go. That looks that looks a bit better. I might also move that line up a little bit. Not that much. Okay. Um, well, that looks more like a skittle than a rocket now. <laughs> but anyway, you guys can experiment with it. I'm sure you can do a much better job than I have here. Um, so guys, let me see what you create um, and uh, good luck making your rocket.